Welcome to my first ever voice tutorial. Uh, today we're going to make a loading screen. So select your outline color, your fill color, whatever shape you want to use. Use a, a dot. Select that. Turn it into a symbol. Call it dot. And we have a dot. Now select that symbol. Turn it into another symbol. Call it dot loop. This is where all the animation is taking place. On um, the main timeline, stretch that out to three seconds or however long you want it. And we're going to take this and going to go inside the one level dot loop. And we're going to stretch that out to one second. And we're going to duplicate. Well, not duplicate make new layers and we're going to duplicate the dot onto each new layer and I'm take the top layer move that one out and then one under that and when you do it so these are all duplicates of the same symbol so when make sure they're spaced out enough so if you make any adjustments on the inside that you know they don't overlap so you gotta space them out far enough. All right. So now that that's done, you go to the 12 second mark, add your keyframes, add your keyframes at the end, go back to the middle keyframes, move all the dots up at once. Then select all the keyframes, right click, create classic clean. Now with the keyframe still selected, you wanna go to properties, I'm gonna go to ease, edit. And you wanna put a ease in and ease out. Now that that's done, nice animation, but that's not exactly what we want. So we have to offset these keyframes by two, two frames and then the top one. Two frames and extend the keyframes make sure it ends with this one with the top one and make sure you copy the first keyframe remove the tween copy the first keyframe to the beginning remove the tween and now all of them stay on screen and you have your loading animation And if you want it to loop like this without using the loop area, which only do that, you go up here to control, loop playback. If I take that off, it'll stop once it reaches the end. If I put it on, it continues to go. All right, so now that you got that, let's say you want to make some changes you just go inside add another layer if you want to use the same thing and just change the color you duplicate it hide the first one change the colors so now you got a little ball and when you go out you don't have to do anything it just automatically updates so let's say you already have a pre-made character. Hide that. You can import it. You can do either import it to the stage, library, or open external if you have a different file. I'm gonna use my old animation from Applehead. And now you can update it with anything. So now when I go out, it's updated. Now it's an Apple head loading screen. So you can use this for just about anything. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you like this video, like it. If not, dislike it. Uh, if you want to access to this file, you can go to my Gumroad at gumroad.com backslash animated t. 
I'll see you guys on the next one. Quick note, uh, if you go back to the main timeline, you see nothing, none of the other ones show up. But if it does show up on your screen, you wanna go to publish settings, and you wanna uncheck include hidden layers. If you check it, this happens. Everything under it shows up. That's even if it's hidden within this, it's going to show up once you come out. See, as you see in the main time like that, that's the thing that shows up, even though it's hidden. So that's not what you want, or some people might want that. All right, but if you don't want that, publish settings, uncheck include hidden layers, hit OK. Now we play it, those hidden layers don't show up.